it's it's crazy how things happen. I found out I was dying around the same time I got my passport. So what I did, I quit my job. Hello, my name is Ace Live. I am 38, I just turned 38 two days ago and I'm heading to Antarctica to see snow for the very first time. I've never seen snow and I thought, what am I waiting for? Why don't I just go to a place I dreamed about going to since I was a young child and seeing it there as opposed to going anywhere else. Um, a place that not too many people travel to and something that I kind of defines my journey as a traveler, traveling, trying to travel around the world, meeting new cultures. When I first began this whole experience of travel, it was about me doing things I wasn't supposed to do. So I say opposed to, because that's how I said it in the beginning, didn't I? Supposed to do, right? Um, so yeah, this is part of that mission of me living that life that I never had or never thought I would have. So let's go. So today's the day I'm, I'm taking off. I'm in this Airbnb right here. In an hour, I'm going to be going to an area where they pick me up and bring me to the boat. Um, for those who are watching this video to watch my journey, you'll see every step of the way. Make sure you subscribe because there'll be several different videos. But today's journey is to just get on the boat and show you the boat itself. Um, and to give you some insight on how you can do this, all right? I will put the information of who I book with, the agency that I book with. And I had, I had a hard time looking for agencies online and it was kind of last minute. And a lot of these agencies I was trying to speak to, they were based in a different country. I found an agency that's actually based in this city, so they will have pretty much up-to-date information. I didn't know this shit was going to happen because I was getting so much conflicting info. A lot of people were saying that they had canceled the whole season. And I was like, okay, no more, no more cruises. And I heard that. That's why I came to this city to see and hear for myself. I came here a couple of days ago. I walked around and found the agency and they were able to give me some um, good advice and I was able to book a trip. This trip by far is going to be my most expensive trip I ever paid for. I'll tell you once I get on the boat how much I paid for this trip, but it's, it's very expensive. <laughs> this is not my most expensive video. <laughs> my most expensive video was me actually paying off my mother's home. So after this video, go watch that. But yeah, this is the most expensive ticket I ever paid to travel somewhere. I've been dreaming about this trip since last year and saving and it was supposed to be a Christmas but now it's a Christmas slash birthday gift to me. And so I'm super excited about it. And yeah, um, let's go. Let me just pack up all my things and, and I, let's go. I'm ready to go on the ship, come on. All right guys, I am going to the port. I'm with uh, the Airbnb uh, woman, that caretaker. They're bringing me to the port. Very cool people. Hola. <laughs> Antártida. Rumbo a la Antártida. Sí. Ahí sí que va, hace frío. Yo quiero el frío. Yo siempre dormo en el frío. I sleep in the cold. <laughs> It's actually a clear day today, so super excited about that. I hope we have like clear skies all trip. Honestly, if that's the case, perfect. But this, I love this right here. Head into the dock right now, guys. Yo, Monte, okay? Bolivia. 
that one right there, Monte Olivia, is their highest mountain in the area. It's Cinco Malata. Cinco hermanos. Cinco hermanos, los otros. And that was a, a Cinco hermanos, which means the five brothers. And you can actually see a zigzag on it. One, two, it's like a couple different peaks on that. Wow, see, you love it. Cinco hermanos. Okay, here you go. Hola. Hola. All right, guys, so this is the bus we are taking to bring us to the ship. It was like some big misunderstanding on where we were getting picked up, but we finally found it. Okay. Here we go. I went there, and they sent me to five different places, and then finally someone sent me there. All right, all right. Well, all right, guys. I was imagining this. Now we seem to be on the right. Yes, we're here. Yeah, we made it. Yeah, you know, we're in, we're only been waiting in one hour. Oh. <laughs> in the cold. In the cold. Oh. <laughs> I'm excited. Yes. <laughs> be more excited when we walk in on the boat. <laughs> well, if we, right? they don't say wait a minute. Hold on. Wait five. Five hours outside. <laughs> All right, guys. So to check out some of these boats. It's not the one we're going on. We're going on the next one. Check it out. This one looks like a looks like a private boat right here. Awesome. Look at it. Beautiful, man. Like I brought my work out here. Another boat. Ah, oh, this is the National Geographic boat. Uh -huh. Wow. Why would I think it's a different color though? <laughs> This one, if you want to go on this boat, it's like 40 grand to go, and it's like a 30 day uh, trip. But it's really good because you get, you really get to see Antarctica. Wow. And you're really going to be around a lot of experts. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's, yeah. Next year, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> I ever got that much time off work. <laughs> oh man. I just took a week off to go hike the Inca Trail. That was like my vacation. Okay, and then they have these um, hotel, like, I guess these rooms with balconies in it. And super dope. Super, it's, just, it's just real cool, guys. And then we're getting close to our boat, alright guys? I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, that's our boat right there. Alright guys, this is the ship right here. I am super excited. Can't wait to see. Wow. This is awesome. First on a time on a big cruise. I'm actually recording my experience. Oh, are you? That's so exciting. <laughs> First time on a big cruise, guys. So. Me too. You too? Mm -hmm. All right. Me too. <laughs> you too? Okay. I did something similar, but it wasn't this big. It was uh, Ha Long Bay. <laughs> ha Long Bay is small. You've been to Ha Long Bay? It's small. No, no. The boat, the boat is. Asia is different. Normally you are doing like a day trip. <laughs> it was a two day trip. <laughs> Three days? Two days. Three days. Two, two days. Then you don't need to load so much. Like, on board. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go, guys. All right. And there it is. Wow. And it's starting to rain right now, guys. So it's uh, interesting. Looks like we're going to have to carry our own stuff up. Um, but you get to see the docking process and everything. All right. One of my bags. Okay. This. Oh, we got a guy here. Cool. Maybe you can help. Yeah. Thank you. No, no, no. no. Sorry. 
It's all about getting on the ship now because of the rain. Just in time too. Check it out. Wow. Can have you Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Let's do it. Let's go to Antarctica. How you doing? Welcome on board. All right, thank you. Fine. Thank you. What your steps in? I'm happy to be here. <laughs> right. I'm very happy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, she was talking about. <laughs> thank you, thank you. She was talking about she wanted something oh, to drink. Yes, <laughs> they must have heard and you. And we got it. Yeah. Ching ching. Happy yeah. birthday. Oh wow. So you that's how y'all started, huh? You also birthday? My birthday February six. So. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's a bit late, but still. Okay. Okay. Thank it's, you. It's International Day of Bartenders. <laughs> oh, today? Yes. Oh, we drinking today then. <laughs> We're going to drink. Hey! Hello, 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 hello. How are you guys? <laughs> yes, you're lucky, Joe. Huh? Okay, okay, thank you, thank you're you. You're welcome. <laughs> and uh, we post the register over there? Yeah, they'll get, uh, tell you where your room is, and okay. we can always take your bags up for you as well. Okay, yeah, yes. Uh, ah. Relax <laughs> we'll now. Uh, okay, okay. All right, I got you something, a little something. Okay, okay. 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 All right. <laughs> Here we go, guys. I like it. Yes. All right, guys. We're gonna check in. I'll be right back. I, I went to a, I went to a wine tasting thing. It's like spinning around with it. Oh yeah, and you have yeah. to like sip it through your teeth and oh yeah, oh to yeah, get the air in. Oh, you gotta mm -hmm. sniff it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you when you sip it through the teeth, you aerate it so you get the actual all the notes and the flavor. Oh, you got oh from oh, the yeah. teeth. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Does it work for a chef? Uh, I, know. <laughs> I really drink is really good. Alright, guys, we'll be back. Oh, they can see it right here on the sign. Oh. Yeah. And if you, we are quick, we can catch the afternoon tea probably. I, I want to do everything. <laughs> Whatever is available, I'm doing it, okay? Everything, okay? Okay. Yay. What makes you want to come out here? I have to check this continent. You have to. You have to see it for yourself. No, this time I'm doing a round world trip. I, uh, the, the idea is to visit all continents, seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you already did Australia? No, next, next Australia. Because it's not on the way. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. got you. Yeah. Okay. But I did Europe, mm -hmm. Africa, North America. Mm -hmm. I only did Costa Rica and Mexico. And then I'm here. Yeah, okay. And then the next one, like Antarctica. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's go. Let's do it. Hi. Good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome aboard. All right, guys. Check in. Yeah. Hello. Welcome to SH Minerva. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Yes. So you will be your family for 12 days. <laughs> oh, let's do it. Yeah, we are family. Yay, yay, yay. And this is the schedule for today? That is right, Mr. Leon. Okay, guys, it's blinking right now, but it's a schedule that shows you uh, what's happening here. I have dinner at 8 o'clock, and then I have another, like, a happy hour at... Uh, <laughs> I'm just making stuff up on the list, but it lets you know every day. So any day I want to know what's happening, I can come here and look. Yeah, I mean, it's on your TV as well. Oh, so it's on my TV? Okay, yes, cool. everything is on your TV. Okay, cool. Can I get a photo of you? Huh? Can I get your photo? Well, come on, let's do it. One, two, big smile. There you go. I love it. <laughs> if you're going to take a picture, uh, you might as well I have a smile. The spirit, Mr. Leon. Because you I want people, to, yeah, smile. no problem. <laughs> yeah, you want people to just like, oh, let me look at where's, who's that guy? Oh, he's a nice guy. Yeah. Good smile, and guy. I would definitely remember you from this time on. <laughs> All right, cool. Because of this good spirit. Okay. So let me give you the internet access for the okay. and the access for the internet. So okay. your room is ready. It's room six to nine. The door Perfect. is open. Okay. And the key is in the room. Reception is open twenty four hours. So should you need any 
anything, anything that she needs, just let us know. Okay, cool. Yes. cool okay. So they'll bring it or I give this to my... Uh, uh, this is the access for the internet. Okay. Uh, so How about the internet? Fun. Is it... Well, it's not as fast as what we usually yeah. have for, but it's working it'll, it'll, Will there it will work some, all the way over there too? Well, there will be some areas with obstruction, if there will be mountains, but most of the time it should be working yeah. fine. Okay, cool. Yes, all just right. try not to uh, use too much videos and send big photos, things like that. Yes. Okay, okay, and it won't it won't be but just like for WhatsApp or look at yes, some stuff yes, like that. Definitely works fine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. All thank right. You. Okay, thank you. See you around, sir. All right, so I can go to my room now. Yes, All right. All right, cool. All right, guys, now it's time for me to show you my room. So, let's go. I'm using a gimbal, so if you're wondering like how is this thing working my camera? This work with me. Right, something I just bought. All right, so I can show you guys a little bit better angles of this area. But I'm on the sixth floor of the ship, and can't wait to show you my room. And my room is right here. Okay, it's all within. All right. So what you do, guys? You got your key. You put it right here over the sensor. You see how it went green, and then you can open your door. All right. And this is my spot right here, okay, guys? I'm gonna tell you how much I paid once I show you the whole room, okay? Start from the back end, this is the door, all right? Before we get in here, let me show you the bathroom. This is the bathroom right here, okay? See the light here, there goes the light, okay? And the toilet there. Back in. You get to see me and my gimbal. And this comes with its own tub right here. This is the tub. And there's a shower here. And right here, as you can see, is the sink, okay? All right. Tell me what you think about that bathroom. And we're in a ship cruise, right? Now here's my closet, okay? It is a very huge closet. Look at all this space right here. All right. Look at, I put all my stuff here. Uh, pretty much, <laughs> this is a lot of room for me. Uh, I'm glad I have this huge closet because I'm a messy guy and I'll get messy here, but I'll, I'll keep the living room, which I'm about to show you clean. Yes, I have a living room. All right, let's go to the next room. Now we're walking into the living room area, and here it is, right? I have my nice little couch area. I got a flat screen TV, um, beautiful <laughs> digital um, fireplace. That's dope. So I, I'm assuming the, it heats up, this place heats up, so it makes an illusion of it being nice and toasty here. All right. They gave me what seems to be some fresh fruit. Yep, that's fresh. Okay, this is my views at the moment. I have a balcony with a nice two chairs so I could just come out here in the morning time. Let's see how you open this. Okay, so it's open that way. It's already open. And then, yeah, it's your balcony. And then this is a People getting ready uh, for our trip. People are offloading. They're still uploading shipments, I guess, some food, or whatever supplies they need for our trip tonight. So that's dope. Right, we're gonna be leaving later on tonight. Um, not bad. Check out it. I love it. I love it so far. But we're not done. So here is my bedroom. All right. Very big queen bed. Another flat screen TV, uh, work area for, you know, I'm gonna, of course I'm going to be doing a little work, not too much because I want to enjoy this trip. It's like a birthday slash Christmas gift for me. And then another balcony right here. So literally when I wake up, I can step outside and enjoy my time. And this balcony is connected to the other one. So it's a really long balcony, a lot of room. So I could be here or I could just be hanging out there, um, just watching to see if I see any wildlife, whatever in the ocean. Um, needless to say, I'm gonna be very comfortable, all right?
I'm gonna be very comfortable. This is actually the best room they have on the boat. This room right here is actually the best room, okay? They have a four master suites if I can count, or I think it's six, but then they have two that are super big, and this is one of the two that are super big in terms it has a huge closet and everything, all right? The other two are similar to this, but I think it has less closet room, and so, Originally, when I first uh, booked this trip here, I opted in for the other ones with the smaller closet, and it was like, I paid $14,800, right? Um, a room like this cost $16,000, but they upgraded me in into this room. So I ended up getting this room, save uh, close to a uh, thousand something dollars to stay in this room and yeah this is where I'm gonna stay and now before anybody freaks out on pricing this is how it is guys when you're going to Antarctica now there are other options right and let me explain and maybe I can show you if there are any rooms available you might be able to get a room probably this size by itself with the living room but you're gonna be in a bunk bed type setting and so what that means is you're gonna be bunked up with somebody and you split the bill. That could be friends, family, or in some cases, someone you don't know. Usually when it's someone you don't know, the room will normally go to, oh, doorbell. They must need the key. Yeah. The key. Sorry, I just want to introduce, are you Mr. Leon? Yes, sir. Okay, I want to introduce my name. Okay. Uh, my name is Sigit. Sigit, nice yes. to meet you. I will be your Kevin Stewart during your cruise. Okay, so yes. how do I contact you? Oh, please, uh, you can contact me by dial to reception. Oh. Or every day I will be working around here. Oh, okay. Just only this floor. And now. so whatever I need, you help me out with that? Yes, certainly. Okay. So so I will make cool. sure you are comfy in your room. Nice, man. Okay. Let me ask you a question. When yes. is food time? I wanna, <laughs> When can I get uh, some food or there's some snacks? There is uh, in the television. Okay. But uh, at this moment, maybe uh, Deck 7, Club Lounge, they open for the some food or something. Okay. Oh, television. There's. Oh, you mean by the right here, yeah, the snacks right here? Yeah, because we are... No, I mean in the television, there is a schedule. Oh, oh. for dining and anything. Uh, yeah, information okay. regarding your dining time and anything. Okay. Because we paperless, so everything in the television. I will turn on every night when you going for dinner. When you come back, you can see the schedule, your excursion also, what time you will be arrive in the anything. Okay, man. Thank you, man. Okay. It's it's pronounced Sig Sigit. Sigit. Yes. Man. Thank you. Okay. I will I will remember that name. Thank, thank you, man. All right. Thank okay. You. Thank okay. you. No. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate okay. it. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. That was awesome. That was awesome. So we have someone that can help me understand what's going on. Like I said, I want to take it easy on this trip. I'm not. I'm just gonna go with the flow. I don't know exactly how things are gonna end, but I'm not going to push myself to have a certain goal here. This absorb everything and spend more time enjoying then filming but I will be getting you guys some footage now I forgot what I was mentioning I was talking about the the bunk beds right so you can get in a bunk bed but let's say for example the first person that booked that bunk bed was a woman that room automatically should be a woman's bed like so another female could be in the bed and it can work out that way depending on the ship determines how much you're going to be paying and how uh, how long are your your tours some of it can be five grand some of it can be six grand um some of it can be uh, it all depends on what you are getting all right for me i wanted to do this for myself plus give you guys some motivation just in case this is something that you wanted to do i wish i got this for free but no all right i, I would have got the same room but uh it would have just been a smaller closet but i am not complaining because this room also is in the back right here so i can't wait to, to uh, be in the balcony because in the back right here there's no one behind me right here no one there there's someone here right so i'm planning on doing something special for myself <laughs> when I get closer to Antarctica. From what I understand, they're not doing any more uh, polar plunges, right? 
So, I came up with a better idea. I'm gonna be doing a polar mooning. Yeah, a polar mooning, all right? I'm gonna come out here butt naked and enjoy my views of mother nature, butt naked, in privacy. There's no one behind me right here. I can put, play a lot of music. So I will be jamming on my Miami favorite Dade County music, bringing Miami wherever I'm at. Enjoy. Oh, how are you guys? <laughs> how do you enjoy it? You love it? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad we're on the boat ready to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. This room's in here. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna be walking around here naked one day. Ooh. Okay. So just in case. <laughs> we got something to I just see. let you know. Okay. I'm just. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, don't worry, I'm not gonna beat you on your head too. Maybe you do the same thing, okay? But I'm gonna be butt naked here, okay, one day, okay? All right, I'm just letting you know, all right. Okay. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I'd let them know because, just in case they... <laughs> all right, also guys, I wanna show you this, guys. They gave me this jacket, so when you book, your trip they're gonna ask you um, what size you are so they're gonna give you a jacket this is what you're gonna be wearing uh, also they're gonna give me some boots I don't know if the boots are here I gotta check that out maybe the boots are here but this is the jacket right here they give you super dope this is the name of the cruise I'm in just in case you want to look it up to see if I'm lying about the pricing it might be double the pricing next year guys what I like about this jacket though is let me open it for you is the inner lining. So you got another jacket in here. So you got a jacket on top of another jacket. Uh, perfect for me, all right? I just love this. I have my own work area here or work area here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. And uh, I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm just so happy to be here. Feel truly blessed. As soon as I got here, I thank God I got on my knees and thank God because Lord knows this is something that I've always wanted to do since I was watching Discovery Channel, just watching nature, just watching penguins do their thing and everything. And it's just ironic now that I'm almost so close to seeing snow, the place I have to go to see it. And that that is crazy. All right. Uh, now I probably could have seen and I want you to understand something I've traveled to places that have snow I've been to Canada I've been to New York I've been to Sapa and Vietnam all these places have snow but when I was there it never happened uh, so for me and my and some of my family members have seen snow already too but as for me I haven't seen it so uh, I am hoping that it does snow but if it doesn't snow, I'm still cool just being around snow, real snow. And so, fingers crossed, I'm enjoying, I'm going to just enjoy my time. And yeah, this is it. Um, I'm going to just settle in real quick and maybe tomorrow I'll give you a better tour around the whole area. But I hope you enjoyed this tour I'm showing you right now. Guys, somebody came on camera and said that we can go on the seventh floor just to meet some of the scientists and stuff like that. So I'm taking you with me, but I'm taking the GoPro, okay, this time around. Because I do like to use the GoPro more than anything else, as long as there's good lighting in the area, all right? So this is my room again with the GoPro, just showing you, just in case the GoPro does a better job. And this is how things are outside, right? The sun is slowly going down, it's seven o'clock, and I think this ship is selling around uh, midnight, so cool. And I put my face mask this time. Yeah, it's, I think it's a good time to go because I get to see all the other people who are in this, um, this place so that's cool like I get a quick snack and then come back here around 750 740 get ready for some lunch so we just have to go one floor up to see the energy all right first time going up shoes a little bit of time let's go seven seven floor Okay. Well, looks like there might be a meeting. 
So this is the observation lounge. Oh, okay. Ah, I'm gonna put this camera down. Too much people hanging out. But super dope. A lot of women out here. I must admit, this is beautiful. So this is where you can come and relax in this. See the views of the place. Um, matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll wait until we really get on the road so I can show you the real energy. We on the, Us on the docks don't really fix it, but maybe I'll show you a little bit now because there's less people here. And wow. Oh, actually, this is a video footage of outside. <coughs> Super dope. Wow. <laughs> Come here, maybe do some work, and, and you get to see everything outside. Nice, very thick glass. Now to find out what type of alcohol they serve. I can go with you. Hello. What's in the menu? The menu. Well, what are we giving? What are we doing? What uh, what uh, alcohol do we have here? Oh, what are we drinking right now? Regular juice. <laughs> Regular, just, just kidding. <laughs> We're drinking alcohol. Let me get yes. some alcohol. What you have? We have the whiskey. We have the Tilos You had vodka? Yes, we have a vodka. Yeah, let me get some vodka and uh, orange juice. Vodka and orange juice, yeah. yeah. Uh, screwdriver, that's what it's called? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Perfect. You guys are not drinking? Oh, you? I don't think you can drink. Oh, wait, are you here? Are you? You work here? I work here. Oh, you guys work here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Water time. Right okay. now I'm drinking water. Maybe oh. later we'll have a glass of wine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If I have a glass of wine, I'll fall asleep. All right. Cool. <laughs> so, uh, what am I getting myself into for the next couple days? Ooh, next couple days is Drake Passage. So we're gonna cross the Southern Ocean. I hear uh, it's kind of tough. Yeah. Big waves. Big open ocean. Nothing between us and Antarctica. I heard it's like one of the toughest currents to go through in the yes. world. The U.S. Uh, Navy considered it the worst passage in the world. Wow. Yeah, so here we go. But actually, it can be very calm sometimes. Or it could just be. Rough. You, yeah, you, you don't know what you're going to get. Yeah. It could be like this or it could be huge waves. Wow. Yeah. You can have a lake or you can have a just And that's for like uh, tomorrow and two days worth yeah. of that? Okay. Two, two and a half. Two yeah. and a half days. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm yeah. here for the energy. Uh, <laughs> Okay, and then thank you very You're much. Welcome. Okay, uh, and then after that, we're, we're gonna we're, be in Antarctica. Yeah. Should I take? I have some motion sickness. Phil. I will take some tonight. Tonight. Yeah, okay. I will take some too. Okay. okay. So most of them last 24 hours, so I take it before bed. If it makes you a little sleepy sometimes, then you wake up, you feel good, and then take it before bed the next day, and just for two days or three days, and then. Once we're down there, it's very protected. We're behind some islands. It's usually pretty calm. Okay, okay, cool, cool. So it's really just the passage down there. Okay. And once yeah. we're there, you're good. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a YouTuber, if you're wondering. Ah. That's why I'm like... What's your name earlier. I'm Sarah. I'm the expedition leader. Oh, oh, my name is Leon. Leon, nice to meet you. My channel's name is Ace Live. So oh, nice. Yeah. Is this all live right now? <laughs> no, this is not live right now. This is just me filming, <laughs> getting the information. Like, this yeah, is like a dream right. trip for me. And so Amazing. I just wanted to share. And, um, but I want to get as much information. Of course, so. yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is the highlight of this trip, you think? Oh, I don't know. We're gonna we planned across the Antarctic Circle, so not many people get to do that. We're gonna go really far south. That's very exciting. Hardly anybody gets to go this far south. So, yeah, we haven't taken the ship this far south at all yet. Oh, so this is the trip. This yeah. is the trip. This is the trip. This is the trip. I hear around this time is uh, we're likely to see whales, maybe. Yeah. So that more and more whales show up as summer goes on down here, and so more and more every trip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you see one like, last trip? Oh yeah. Okay. A lot of some whales. A lot of whales. Oh, yeah. Wow. Orcas. Lots of penguins. Yes. Wow. Yeah, wow. Seals. Yeah. Some snow. I gotta ask you one question, okay? You, you don't have to answer <laughs> it, but don't kill me at night, okay? <laughs> 
is the world flat? I, there's only one way and you gotta go to Antarctica to find out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what do you think? You don't know? Oh. I think it's pretty round. Me too. I think it's pretty round. Well, they were blinking at each other, guys. They were doing most cool like this where you didn't see it. I tried, I tried, I tried. We'll go to Antarctica and give you a nudge off the Okay, okay, cool, cool. If I survive, well, hey, if you see this footage, you know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I came in at the end. We're, we're talking about the, how flat the world is. Oh yes, we're just gonna fall off. Yeah. We're gonna fall off the earth. I know, this new conspiracy theory that's coming back out. Yeah. The yeah. Is flat. Oh, well. Wait, do you believe the world is flat? Before anything guys, I just wanted to show you this lovely drink, okay? Um, so there is alcohol on the ship, okay? Just in case you think you're not gonna make it, I'm drinking some really good alcohol. Yes, sir. What the heck, guys? I thought I'd show you how this place looks. The deck. All right, this leads all the way to the front. And you can see the... This is where the captain, he was just looking out the window. I guess he was just trying to see how those guys were loading. Oh, but check this out. Nice seating areas here. Oh, man. To live on a boat, man. A boat of this magnitude. Oh, I'm jealous. Man, or to live on one of those. This reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. I forgot the name of it though. Wow. And there you go, guys. Wow. Check it out. And so, inside they have a view of this place and I think that might be the camera that films it from here. All right, okay, so the, there's one deck. Is it another side of the deck here? Let me see, it's kind of narrow on this end. No, actually it doesn't go side here you can walk here but it's not post you're not supposed to be walking on that angle hey look at that look at that though wow it is cold out here guys and then here it is I think you can go down is it a door lock no door is open get to see exactly what's going on You walk all the way here, and wow. So, I can imagine when we start getting through the Drake Passage, this might not, this might be off limits, depending on how big the waves are. You might just want to be stuck inside the boat. But then you got this right here. Oh, man. <laughs> you can tell I'm so excited to be here, man. I'm so excited. Oh. Look at this. Calm waters. And to to wake up, and imagine when you wake up, you're gonna see like these mountains right here. Mountains like that are just full of ice or you know glaciers. I'm ready for this trip to begin, but I'm like I said, I'm just soaking every moment of it. So dope. Yeah, I love it. All right, we, so we're going into the restaurant, guys. Yes. First night, it smells good. Swan Restaurant. Might have to reserve in future. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? Welcome. I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Likewise, uh, we are as well. Extremely uh, okay. Just by yourself? Yeah, yeah, by myself. I'll probably eat with these guys right there. All right, okay. All right, nice to meet you. All right. You got a seat for me? Okay, cool. Oh, this is nice. Hello, how are you? Nice Good to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Okay, all right. Welcome on board. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yes, please. Thank you, love. Nice. <laughs> I came in with my own wine, it's my own water. <laughs> Just in case we didn't have enough wine. I was like, I'm gonna hydrate and dehydrate yeah. all at the same time. That's all good. Awesome. How are you, Lawrence? beautiful? I'm going to Thank you really quickly. Just uh, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> happy that you're here too. Okay. Okay. Some water? Yes, I'll try some water. Would you like anything to drink from the bar? The uh, wine. Uh, water right now. Just water for now. <laughs> and then once we eat some, 
Yes. Some hard alcohol. And then, and then white wine. So guys, people are still showing up. I can't wait to see this place packed. So they said it's gonna be like a, a guest of 100 people here? Yeah, around 90 they said it's 90. Yeah. That's kind of light still, compared to considering they can hold yeah, 200 guests. Uh, yeah. Hello. Yeah, they said yeah. something about there are 99 people the here. So much, so much Russian, because I speak a bit of Russian. So there are mm -hmm. lots of Russian. Oh, that's why you got a little quiet right there. <laughs> 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 he's he's so Russian, okay. <laughs> That's no, good. I have not, 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 nothing I've done yet. Yeah, oh, that's that team. The team there is mm -hmm. Russian? Yeah, all Russian. Oh, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Maybe tomorrow we're gonna have this table. This table. <laughs> we, we, we need to enjoy the yeah. energy it yeah. is now. <laughs> this us and this, you know, room here. Because I can imagine you might have to reserve depending on... Uh, is this the only dining area here? In the ship? Yeah. Well, it's not the biggest ship. Oh, I guess you have to go get your food? Is it you yeah, pick your own food? Yeah, because they don't, they don't yeah. keep it in the car. Yeah. It looks like. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, there's self service. Oh. Hi, ladies. Is that buffet? Yeah, yes. Fine, okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Buffet. Oh, it's buffet. We go, we go get it? Yeah. Oh, okay. We go get it, guys. Well, they have, they already know that I'm there. Are they here? Are they ready? <laughs> they're ready. <laughs> they brought it right there, so they put it right next to her. So, all right, guys. Now I will show you some of the food here. Okay, hello. All right, excuse me. Here we got some. Um, this is the lettuce, and this is the cold area right here. So you got cheese, crackers, all types of nuts and everything. Uh, this is what they call a Russian salad right here. Mimoso, Mimosa salad, that's the name over there. And some fish. And this is where you can set up a salad. All right, we got tuna there. And then on this end, this is where all the hot food is. This is uh, the dinner for today, but they're really gonna have different types of dinner later on. This is gonna be more of a setup for lunch. That's why I'm filming it, just to show you your first day of dinner. What's up, man? How you doing? Come on board. Thank you, appreciate it. How you guys doing, man? And not for nothing, guys, the, get, the staff here has been nothing short than amazing. Even on the first day, man, they're very attentive, very welcoming, and very knowledgeable about what they're doing here. So. Uh, I really do appreciate all this salmon, fresh salmon, and you got your uh, spring rolls right here. Oh, it's the food is lovely. And then I can't forget the meat and the chewy chews, chewy. Really good, guys. I'm gonna go get me another plate, but I thought I'd show you how this thing looks. Yeah. By the time we get back, you might be able to see. There you go, salad. guys. Just in case you wanted to see it on my plate, there you go. This is my second plate, by the way. Yo. All right, guys. The ship director left a letter just uh, thanking me for being on the boat and having a a good journey to the White Continent. It's super dope. Be carried out. This drill is mandatory as per international maritime law and all guests are required to attend. He's basically saying this is law that you have to go through this drill and so any service this that are happening on the boat stops and people are supposed to do this drill. It, you're supposed to meet somewhere based off of your floor and so on my key it tells me where I'm supposed to meet. Um, it says... I need to meet at station B. So it's gonna they're gonna make a noise and I meet at station B for the drill. Um, I don't mind it. Uh, it's all it's all about keeping us safe. I think this boat has been operational for maybe little over a year or under a year, I'm not too sure. It's fairly new as you can tell and so uh yeah i want to make sure we are safe and yeah this i mean it, this boat has its legs already but just in case uh things don't go the way right uh, we still good all right uh, right now i'm just enjoying my time just soaking in the energy i'm calling my mother up so i want to show her this room all right yo guys i heard a rumble it the uh, ship started to vibrate and now i'm looking we're moving we're leaving the the shore so this begins the the journey 
uh, 13 day journey <laughs> to the Arctic. I'm excited. You don't know how excited I am. This in the beginning of this video, I mentioned that I was dying. I'm not dying from any sickness or anything like that, or any illness. The truth is, I realize how much I was dying to live, to live. And once I got my passport, I quickly realized there was so much to life than the life I was living which was being very, being very miserable. So this right here is a combination of me just following my dreams and just attempting to live. I'm gonna continue to push forward and I can't wait to share with you what happens next you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe because we're going to Antarctica all right don't miss any moment what happens next it's gonna be three days of us on the ocean might be some rough waters I'm gonna show you that and we're gonna finally make it to Antarctica see the wildlife there enjoy our time there see what's available there from my lens so if you're new subscribe and I'll see you next one. Thanks for watching this video. If this is your first video, try to watch all the other episodes and catch up so you don't miss what's happening next. I guarantee you, it's going to be crazy. Yo.